Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are decorating my very small but mighty coffee bar. I love to decorate my coffee bar for each holiday season. My kids and my grandkids they love coming over making coffee, hot chocolate. It's just fun to have everything here displayed and ready for them to pick up and make a glass of hot chocolate or whatever they want. So I'm absolutely in love with how this turned out. I use a lot of thrifted items decorating this and then I had a lot of things all ready from last year like my little vintage Santas and all. Okay I'm gonna start here on the side of my refrigerator. My coffee bar is pushed up against my refrigerator and so this kind of acts as a little wall behind my coffee bar for me to put some decor and stuff up. So I'm gonna use this basket that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm using the basket to display some rolling pins that I've thrifted this past year and I'm also going to take a little dish towel and hang it out of the side. I got this dish towel at Ikea. It's very inexpensive and it has the perfect little stripe of red on it because I don't like a whole lot of red but I do like little bitty pops of red here and there for my Christmas decor and then I also have a sign that says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year with a beautiful cardinal on it and my Aunt Kathy or my Mima gave me this many many years ago. Okay, you guys, I wanted to share also real quick this cute little t-shirt that I got at Walmart. How fitting is this shirt for decorating my little coffee bar? It says, I run on coffee and Christmas cheer. This is so true, y'all. I love this. This little shirt was only like $5 at Walmart. Go get you one. It's just so cute. I wanted to share with y'all. I've already unhooked them, but I wanted to give you an idea. This is usually when I do my coffee bar, I have these doors are on it. It came with these doors, but what I'm going to do for Christmas is I'm going to take the doors off. I've already unhooked them <clears throat> in the interest of time for you guys. You really, you know how to unscrew something and take it off, so you don't need me to show you that. But I just wanted to show you what it looked like if I was using the doors. You can't really see the decor really good, so that's why I took it off. And so, only thing I really need to take off now is this little hook. I like the way this it was the hinges were on in here so you won't really be able to see them that well once I get it all decorated I mean you really have to get down there and look for those holes and then right here it has a little bit of but it's really not noticeable once I get all the decor in there it looks pretty good so I just I'm taking the doors off and then I'm gonna start now decorating 
Okay, so of course, the two things that I already have up there, you've already saw me decorate this part. Of course, I've got my Keurig. That's what I use for my coffee, and that's what we use for hot chocolate is a Keurig. So we just have one pot since I have such a small bar. So I have my Keurig, and then over here I have my little frother, which I absolutely love. I usually get a lot of questions about this anytime I show it. It is wonderful. I just, that's all I will say. If you have any other questions about it, you can ask me because I'm not one of those YouTube people who's always trying to push my stuff on folks. I just know that I love it, and if you would, if you're interested, let me know, and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. Anyway, I have this. I just got this. I think it's a tablecloth. I'm not really sure, but I just got this at a thrift store. I haven't even showed you guys this in a haul yet, but I paid. I love this. So I'm going to try to use this on my coffee bar. It's washable. It's real easy. I can wash it. So I just really think I'll like it up here since I'm trying to go with a touch of vintage for Christmas. So let me see what this thing looks like up here. I haven't even washed it yet. I want to make sure I'm going to like it before... I wash it so if I do get it on here positioned and I like it I have to take it off and wash it real quick okay I think I kind of like that all right let me put the rest of the stuff on there let me show y'all how it's just kind of barely hanging off the side so these two this one is now holding my I buy the disposable Keurig little holders and just put my own coffee in there so I've got some already prepared. I try to keep some in here, but sometimes I run out. And so if I do run out, I have this, also this little thrifted jar. I got this one at a thrift store and this one at a thrift store. And I love them. And I just keep coffee in this one. So if I run out, you know, of the other jar, I have some already ready to go. That'll work. Okay, so there's that. And then for up here, I got this little, isn't this little thing so cute, y'all? It says Santa's Milk. It's adorable. Gotta give, when I use my camera, I have to give it a minute. It's a little slow. But anyway, it says Santa's Milk, and I think it's adorable. And you know what? When I know that we're about to have all of the grandkids over, if I know they're coming, um, I always go ahead and have, like cream in here or peppermint creamer for them to put in their hot chocolate or for your wanting coffee because I just think it's fun it comes with this little rubber lid I got this at Walmart y'all last year for like two dollars I just think that it is the cutest little thing to use on your coffee bar your hot chocolate bar whatever of this so I, I like to put this out at Christmas time and I usually just keep it tucked back in the corner but now if the kids are coming I will get it out and get it ready to use with for them and then I've got this cute little get up here I got this basket I don't remember where honestly I think Hobby Lobby a long time ago in the spring section and I spray painted it and then this little Noel bottle I got at Hobby Lobby also last year or year before and then also I have another one of these but I used it this morning so there's four of them you can get these at Hobby Lobby I got these last year also let me take one out so you can see it I got some of these during um the fall season also but these are like little candy cane looking ones and they're just little stir sticks i got these i've actually had these for a couple of years and i just put some hot chocolate packets in here so this is ready when someone comes and wants hot chocolate that's ready to go there and then just for a little layered effect i have these little bitty mini cutting boards that i got during the fall season at hobby lobby and i just keep that laid right up here let me scoot y'all up so you can see better. I just keep this laid, excuse me. I just keep this laid up here for no real practical reason other than it just gives it a layered look. It's kind of cute. This is white, this is white. So everything's kind of blending in together. So I keep my little spoon rest on top of the little cutting board and I think that it's just adorable. Okay, and that's all I put up here because I need space to actually put a coffee cup. Okay, and I have two or three um, Christmas mugs that I've bought this year, and I think that this one is adorable. It says, Making Spirits Bright, and y'all got this at the Dollar General. I don't know if it tells you on the bottom, but this is, this is so cute, and during the holidays, or you, uh, well, actually all the time, I like to keep a cup on the Keurig just for that pop of color just so that that black is kind of broke up some and so I love that little cup there and I just I usually hand wash a lot of my coffee cups anyway so 
I usually always have one available to like keep there on display and I think that this is so cute so this is really all that I do on the top I need everything to function I want it to look cute but I also want it to function got so my frother and then I've got my K cups in this first jar that are already prepared and ready then I have some coffee in case I run out of those in the big jar and then I have a little bit of hot chocolate stuff ready to go here I've got my hot chocolate packets my creamer or cream is just in the back and I have a cup here ready to go if and when someone wants to just make a cup of coffee so the top is complete and I actually love that little doily looking tabletop thing I'm not even really sure what that was originally for but I kind of like it like that I think it looks pretty like hanging off the side what do y'all think I think it's adorable anyway okay so now let's get on to the next shelf okay I want to show you the things that I'm going to use in this next shelf because I think it will make it easier to do the video and decorate. So I have this little Merry Christmas towel that came from Hobby Lobby. This came from the Target Dollar Spot a couple of years ago. I have these little scoops that I think are just precious. The kids think that it is so fun to use these to get the marshmallows. I have this little marshmallow thing that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, honestly. so cute it just says mini marshmallows i'm actually out of marshmallows right now about to head to the grocery store so i'll have to get some to put in there so it's cute. empty they like to take these little scoops and scoop their marshmallows out the little kids they think that's so fun okay and then my little vintage santa's mugs i got at walmart last year i got several of the i tried to get enough for everybody in my family so i got i think four of the little ones because I have four grandkids. This little tree one year at Hobby Lobby for a really good deal. The original price shows $9.99. When I bought it, it was two or three years ago. And it's got this little spot that's broke. So I think that I got this thing for like just a couple of bucks. And all I do is I just turn that bad spot around. No one will ever know. Anyway, that's really cute on my coffee bar. A bottle brush tree that I'm going to be using. This joy sign came from the Dollar General. This doily I got at Salvation Army not too long ago. I've got some candy canes and I've got some Dollar Tree mugs that are meant to be like little vintage mugs. I mean they were only a dollar and I think that they are so cute and they give that little bit of red because all of my other Santa mugs are white so I needed something with just a little bit of red so that's that does that. And then I got this sign that says Christmas blend hot cocoa served here. I got this at Ross a long time ago well I say a long time ago probably a couple years ago and then I have this little thing that I'm using I just have this box of that had lights in it it's it's just helping me raise stuff up you won't even see that but this is just like a little green box that I have I just used kind of for displaying things I actually got that at Hobby Lobby probably I don't know five to ten years ago I've had it forever I actually have two of them so anyway that's all I'm using on this next shelf so let's get busy decorating Christmas time, I light up a fire, gather friends and family, have a bite to eat and some Christmas sweets, chilling out and watch TV, wrapping up the gifts with my fingertips, making up some fancy rhymes, oh, so fancy. just got something fun for my special one, but my love don't cost a dime, waiting for Santa to come, he'll be knocking on I'm not one of them, the three wisest men, but I got an open heart. If you feel alone, just stop by my home. I don't care about who you are. If you make the trip, have a little sip, talking about the good old times. How they did it then, back in Bethlehem, when the legend came to life. I'm waiting for Santa to come. Be 
Okay, on this one, I thought that I would just show you kind of as I go what I got. This is the lid off of a tin that I got this summer. I just wanted to use the lid. It, I mean, it had a bottom part to it, but I took the lid off, and it's just so cute. It's very vintage looking to me, just very, very sweet. So I'm going to use this kind of just in the back, just to kind of give that plain back a little something something. Okay, so here is some of the big Santa mugs. They look just like the little ones, but I've got the big ones also. They look really pretty in this cabinet, though, because this cabinet is really kind of dark in here. So I'm going to be using those, but first I'm going to use this thrifted Goodwill basket. And I'm just going to, it has a hard bottom, and I love it. And it's a, it's made from Pyrex. It has these straps. I got it, I don't so know. I'm just going to flip it over and use the hard bottom here. I need it. I need some things to be kind of. I need to rise some things up. Sorry, it's looking really dark. I'm going to try to get it a little bit lighter in there for you guys. There we go. So flip this over, and then I'm going to use. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this green doily that I got at Salvation Army a little while back. I showed that in a few a few videos ago. I showed that. So I still want some of the brown basket to show, but I'm trying to cover up this cork top. So I'm going to use this thrifted canister. It says sugar on it, but I don't keep sugar in this. This has like my decaf pods in it now. And if I have empty pods or overflow pods at the top, I'll put them in here. So I just keep extra things stored in this. Because again, I want this to be a practical coffee bar, but I want it to be cute. So there's that. I got that just kind of on this and rose up a little bit. And then I'm going to take and go here in the back because I want people to be able to get to these mugs if they can. But I have several of them. So I'm going to stack two of those white Santas in the back there. And then I'm going to take this. I got this in a garage sale haul, like a vintage garage sale haul I shall, uh, shawled. I showed not too long ago. So I'm just going to use this because this is a coffee bar and it's got the red color for... Christmas, so I thought that that would be really cute down there. I put this other little Santa mug back here, and I don't want everything to fall. Like when somebody comes to get them something, I don't want everything to fall. So I want to try to make it to where if you get something, you're not worrying about everything falling down. So I'm going to try to space things out. So I'm going to put that big Santa there. And I'm going to stack another one on top of him because I'm limited to space. But I need all four of the big mugs because when my whole family gets here, there is a Santa mug for everyone to use, including these that I have on the top shelf. And the grandkids all get the little baby ones, these little ones. So I'm going to take one of these little ones and kind of rise him up a little bit here. And I'm going to put the other little one right here. I think this is so, so cute. Just very simple, but very realistic. And then I have this, and I really want to use this little Rudolph. I got him at Goodwill, oh gosh, a couple years ago. I can't remember. So because I want to put this pop of red in here with the Rudolph, I need to kind of make things move around a little bit. I'm going to just put him over here in the corner a little bit. So he's not in the way, but so that he gives a little pop of red. Move it over. Y'all can see. There we go. Now, what I will do and... If we're all going to have hot chocolate, if there's a whole group of us and I know we're going to have hot chocolate, I will just take these out or whoever's preparing the hot chocolate, will they literally will just take these out and they lay them over to the side. So this is not a big deal. Um, we'll just, you know, get the cups, rinse them out, or we'll drink the glitter. It doesn't matter. We're not picky like that. And then, I've, so I've got a couple of these little picks that I'm just going to place on the top Santa's because I need a little bit of greenery in here. I need it to, I don't know, come alive a little bit with some greenery. So I do add just a couple little sprigs in these top Santas. And I took some little bitty pieces off. And I'm going to put it in these little baby Santa ones here at the bottom. And my crew knows well enough now how I am. They will literally just take these little sprigs out. And if they want to have hot chocolate, they just take their cup. They get this out, and they will just lay it right there. I mean, it's it's really that simple. So this part's really not practical, but it's cute. So anyway, we're going to put that in there because it's still practical. They know. They just take it out, and they lay it there. And then I've got one up here, 
And then of course I want to top it off and finish because everybody needs candy canes in their hot chocolate. So I just take, and I like to go ahead and have candy canes in the mugs so that they are ready for them. Okay, y'all, that's going to finish up today's video. Thank you so much for coming along and helping me to decorate my coffee bar slash hot chocolate station. I hope that you have an amazing, wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you are able to see some of your loved ones. I want you all to know how much I appreciate you all. I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys who watch my videos, who like, who comment, who share my videos. It helps my family tremendously, and I cannot thank you enough. We hope that y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving, y'all. We love you, and we will see you Friday with a brand new video.